What's up, Virgos? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? What's good? March 4th is about 4 a.m. I'm sitting here doing this reading for my Virgos. We're about to jump in this mid-March reading. It's kind of funny. I mean, for real, for real. This reading is crazy we got right here, Virgo. Okay? And the reason why this reading is crazy, right, is because, like... You dealing with water and air, right? And I think it's crazy because, like, from the way this reading is looking, right, Virgos? You got a strong Cancer Scorpio Pisces that wants to come in, right? And in the past, you might have dealt with a water sign, right? Or either a fire sign. So, basically what you're dealing with is water, air, and fire. Right? You got water, air, and fire for mid-month. Okay, Virgo? So, in the past, you had a lover, right? Who wants to come in from a distance. Right? This person from the past is waiting for the right moment to make their move and take a leap of faith when it comes to dealing with you, right, Virgo? Because this person don't feel complete without you, okay, Virgo? So basically, this person is working hard and waiting on their ships to come in so that they can be with you, right? Because this person is wanting to uh, lock you down. And pretty much complete things with you and just come on in and have like a ten of cups situation, right? This person wants to get hit on to kind of seal the deal, right? Now, this person in the past, Virgo, broke your heart. They kept some secrets from you, right? But now this person is wanting justice with you. They want to come in and make up for the damage they did, right? This person is going through some bullshit of their own, wherever they at, whoever it is they dealing with, right? Now, this person is either Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, right? Or this person who broke your heart in the past can be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, right? Now, this person wants a reunion with you, and this person wants to start over because you do have the four cups as well as the five of cups. And this person is wanting to have a new beginning, new celebration with you because you got the four of wands. This person is also, you know, a fire sign that wants to come in. A knight, right? Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries that wants to come in, right? And again, I see a Sagittarius Leo Aries who's a Sagittarius Leo Aries fire sign. They're wanting to come in from a distance, but they're waiting on the right moment to approach you, right? And they're working hard, waiting on, you know, waiting for their ships to come in. But now, why are you dealing with this Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries who's wanting to come in from a distance, right? You also got a Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces who wants to come in and, like, seal a deal and lock it down with you, right? Now, this uh Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces who wants to, like, come in and want to, like, have a commitment with you, and it's weird because, like, maybe some of you Virgos, either you want to have a reunion with that Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or they're looking to have a reunion with you and wanting to start over with you. So, again, Virgo, either you're wanting to start over with this Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, or this Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces wants to start over with you, Right? But from the way it's looking, okay, this is where it gets funny as hell to me. The way it's looking, right? This Cancer Scorpio Pisces who wants to come in and have a, a reunion with you, Virgo, hoping to start over. 
when it comes to you, Virgo, you got an eight of cups going on, right? So really you not even wanting this person back because you're not looking back at this um cancer scorpio or pisces right or maybe you could be like i said or maybe you you know what i'm saying or you may have some cancer scorpio or pisces in your chart but from the way it's looking to me you have a cancer scorpio or pisces which is a water sign who wants to come in and seal a deal but you like nah you ain't feeling that right but then you got somebody who's coming in who's a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, right? That Sagittarius, um, that Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, they're waiting for the right moment to approach you and they want to travel in from a distance, right? But they're waiting at the right moment because they want to have a completion with you also, right? Now, in the past... You dealt with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, who broke your heart. And either that Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, in your past, they're dealing with a situation that they want to get away from where they're going through a whole lot of chaos, right, and conflict, and that Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini is wanting to kind of get away from their situation and travel to you to calmer waters, right? But Virgo, I see you celebrating with either the Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, which is a fire sign. Okay, so Virgo, again, I see you celebrating with a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. I see you like not turning, uh, uh, and I see you turning your back on the Cancer Scorpio on Pisces. Like you really don't want to be bothered with that Cancer Scorpio on Pisces. But like, let me see what we got here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So again, like I'm saying, you got this fire sign, right, Virgo? You got this fire sign that wants to come in from a distance. Seeking some type of completion with you. Waiting for the right moment to approach you. Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. And that's the person who I see celebrating. That's the person I see you celebrating with, right? But as for that Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, you got your back turned to them, right? And you may be dealing with more than one fire sign. Because I see you, um, Virgo, it's like you being pulled on and you're not sure which direction you want to go in, right? Because you may have an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini who stabbed you in the back and broke your heart in the past. They're wanting to basically come in also and they want to kind of leave their situation and trying to come in to you, right? But spirit is telling you, spirit is saying not to trust that Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini because that is sign is just looking to get in and take what they want and leave. All right? So if you got Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini wanting to approach you, spirit is saying, hold up, wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? Slow your roll. Don't even look at that. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. Okay? Because you got a Leo, okay, a Leo is also, like I said, a Leo, which is a fire sign. Again, it could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries who's wanting to come in and make it right. And I see, I see you celebrating with that Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, which is a fire sign, right? So right now, Virgo, basically, long story short, you got options, okay? You got options, you got options, but if one of those options is an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you need to shut that down real quick. Okay? Now, you may have an earth sign that may be holding some type of grudge against you, right, from the past. So don't be surprised if you have an earth sign who uh 
is holding some type of resentment toward you. It could be like a um, Taurus or Capricorn. Or you may have a Capricorn. Because what I'm receiving, let's see. Because it's somebody who's, um, like I said, somebody definitely wants to have a reunion with you. Okay, because these cards are definitely strong. Because you definitely got somebody who's thinking about you, who's missing you, who wants to have a, you know, a reunion with you. But then you also got somebody, for some reason, I don't know why. Because um, from the download I was picking up, it was like you had somebody who was missing you, who was wanting to know why it is. You know, you don't come see somebody wants to see you real bad. And again, that could be that, um, like I was saying, that Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, that person wants to see you real bad, right? <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's funny to me. That's all. It's just funny to me. It's really, really funny because you definitely got more than one option. And it's just weird because, like, these options, because I'm a Virgo myself, right? But I'm also a Pisces moon. And I'm a Leo rising. And so I got fire in me. I got water, fire, and earth. Right? And so I'm looking at, like, these cups, <laughs> But us Virgos got our back turned when it comes to a water sign, right? Because you got water sign who's like really wanting to come at you too. But us Virgos got our back turned on Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I dealt with a Scorpio a few months ago. You know what I'm saying? And me and that Scorpio was real cool. We was close. You know what I'm saying? We had a, we, it was like best friends. You know what I'm saying? They're lovers and everything. But. It just wasn't, uh, it wasn't right. I was on a different journey. I made a change, you know what I'm saying? And that person was going through some things. And it, I just didn't feel like it was going to work, you know? But me and that person was real cool, that Scorpio. But um, I wouldn't give it no relationship. I know when it comes to my past, people, places, and things for myself, I definitely don't have no plans on looking back as a Virgo, you know, because I done made such a huge change. And I feel like us Virgos, we on a um a different journey now, you know, financial and uh spiritually. You know, I think um us Virgos is really like seeking better career opportunities for ourselves. And we're wanting to just make this whole 360 change, a whole new positive, beautiful beginning. And that's what I kind of see going into what, you know, April and May. You know, but um, we do got a strong fire sign. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, again, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, right? Now, I know here recently I did meet another tourist, though. I ain't even going front. I met me a little tourist, right? He a little young candy, you know what I'm saying? He's like... You know, I don't know. He got to be in his 30s. You feel me? And so I got kind of some young eye candy. You know who I've been kind of talking to and flirting with lately. You feel me? But that ain't nothing serious. You know, I might just tap that and leave it alone. I got to keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? Because the sister girl been backed up. So I've been settling for quite a while, for some time. You know what I'm saying? So you know. But I had been kind of light flirt with this little young candy tourist, you know what I'm saying? And so, you know, only thing I want to do with it is like, you know what I'm saying, handle my business and then let it be. So that might just be like some flirtatious type thing right there when it comes to another earth sign, tourist. But um, I don't know. Some spirit saying we got a Sagittarius Leo Aries that's strung on our ass, Virgo. So we're going to have to see what that's about, you know? But, uh, Spirit is always also saying, don't be fucking with no Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. So if we got a swords coming there, it's an air sign. We got to reject that shit, shut that shit down. Okay? But right now, we got our back turned on that Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So I don't know. We're going to have to just, you know, shut some shit down. Right, Virgo? <laughs> 
See how you got your back turned, Virgo? That's that Eight of Cups. You got your back turned on that Cancer Scorpio Pisces, right? But you got that Cancer Scorpio Pisces who wants to start over, right? See, that Cancer Scorpio Pisces wants a reunion, right? That Cancer Scorpio Pisces wants to come in and lock it down, right? But then we got that Sagittarius, okay? Sagittarius Leo Aries that wants to come in, right? Make it right, right? That's that Sagittarius Leo Aries. Sagittarius Leo Aries. But we got this damn Aquarius Libra Gemini who wants to come in and take what they want and steal some shit and leave, right? Aquarius Libra Gemini stabbed us in the back, right? Aquarius Libra Gemini broke our heart, right? Aquarius Libra Gemini is trying to sneak away and come to us, right? Okay. So I'm saying, we're going to figure some shit out. Right now, coins is looking good, though. Coins is looking good, Virgo. We, we got our heads up on that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm getting ready to stop this. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting ready to shut this down. We kind of got an idea, right? We kind of got an idea which way we going. You know, we got our back turned on the Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But we got a Sagittarius Leo and Aries getting ready to pop in the scene. And we know not to fuck with no Aquarius Leo or Gemini. So that sounds cool. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. We're going to see what's popping. But uh, if you want a personal reading with me or a private reading with me, I got all that information down. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to check for prices, I do private and personal readings on Fridays and Saturdays only. Friday from 4 p.m. No, Friday from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. And Saturday from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. So if you want a private personal reading with me, send me an email at uh, nebmissbxgoddess at gmail.com. Send me an email, what kind of reading you want, you know, and then you could uh, prices go through my PayPal account, okay? But anyway, if this is your first time on my YouTube channel, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining. Hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe. I am your girl, Virgo Goddess, Spiritual Medium, okay? And I just want to do like a little quick rundown, all right, and see what was going on here in this beginning of March, going toward the second week of March. We got options, Virgo. We got options. So we're going to have to handle some shit, shut some shit down, and keep our back turned on some shit. You know what I'm saying? But I do got like this little young Taurus that I've been hollering at now. That's an earth sign. I don't know. I mean, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think about that, though. You know, but in the meantime, one love and God bless. Peace.